Curing blindness remains one of the great challenges in medicine. We do a great job with glasses and laser surgery for misshapen eyes, and we can surgically remove lenses that have been clouded by cataracts. But we're still working on blindness where people have lost the photoreceptor cells that turn photons of light into electrochemical signals. A recent breakthrough has been the development of bionic devices that, in part, can substitute for these lost photoreceptors. Such devices are placed next to the sheet of neural cells in the eye called the retina. They use digital camera type technology to detect light patterns, and they produce electricity to stimulate the retinal neurons that are still alive. Right now, bionic retinas are still in their infancy. They are available, but only a few patients have received them. So there are only a few hundred such visual cyborgs walking around these days. These blind patients can see a blurry pattern from a grid of light spots like an old-timey scoreboard. They can't see things in color, just shades of gray like in old photographs. And the images only cover a small part of the visual field. The patients can use what they see to find silverware on the table, to move around their home, and sometimes to read really big letters. But they're still a long way off from normal vision. So why don't bionic retinas work better? Well, one reason is that they aren't nearly as smart as your smartphone camera in terms of image processing. It's hard to make the right electronics small enough to hide on top of or underneath the retina. But another problem is that we still don't know all of the ways in which zapping the retina becomes a light pattern in the mind of a blind patient. That is to say, we don't have a very good model of retinal electrostimulation. In this paper, our team of scientists in Tübingen in Germany explain how we can build a smarter model for bionic retinas. One kind of model we could use is a black box model, where we pretend that the internal mechanisms of a system like the bionic retina are inside a black box, where we can't study them. We then put a lot of different stimuli into the box, and we keep track of what comes out the other side. By learning how inputs match with outputs, we can model how the box behaves, even if we don't understand exactly how it works. In contrast, a white box model is where you try to perfectly mimic the system of interest. And white box models tend to work really well, but they're complicated and hard to complete. In this paper, we describe a gray box model for bionic vision. It's halfway between black and white box models. We start with a structure that loosely matches how the bionic retina works, but don't worry too much about the exact details. As long as our model does a good job of matching the real system, we're happy. We use a special type of electrical input called Gaussian white noise that works really well for such models. With our new approach, we hope that scientists can improve bionic vision by making it work faster, with sharper images and with color, essentially restoring natural sight, and eventually improving on it. This is type of reduced vision. It helps a blind person to get around, but it is not uh, really the fine grain of resolution which you would like to have. And that's why we are so keen that uh, Dr. Respan and his team go on in um, uh, investigating what the best stimulation is uh, and how to do it to improve uh, this uh, resolution to improve visual acuity, to improve the visual field, and what type of currents we shall apply uh, to get uh, the best results. That's great.